Yo, what is up guys? In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can make an amazing overrated build-up like Eon VFX in DaVinci Resolve. So, uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. So right here, I do have my clip in the song Losing Blood. It's a copyright-free song, so that's why I'm using it. I don't want to get uh, demonetized for this video. And this is how it looks like. Alright, so what you're going to want to do first is unlink the clips by just right-clicking, clicking Link Clips. And now, uh, on the kill, go 32 frames back. So that should be right here. Once you're 32 frames before the kill, split the clip and then uh, make that little split version on the right a compound clip. Uh, now go into Fusion tab and go into like the folder and drag in the sexy velocity settings like that. And now uh, go back to the edit tab and then find the kill again and add a marker on it and then just trim everything down from the back. And what I would do is delete the audio file because it, it won't be necessary. And now just drag it back and make sure it lines up again. And now just shorten the clips uh, dead time. So I'm just gonna uh, do that and shorten it. And yeah, uh, it will take a while to render. So I'll see you guys once the velocity is rendered. If you guys do have trouble with this, make sure to watch it back a lot of times so you do understand the concept of this tutorial. You guys have added uh, the velocity, everything is rendered out for me. What I'm going to want to do now is uh, let me just hide that. Uh, what you guys are going to do now is go on the kill and then go 40 frames before the kill. So I'm just going to do it in my head, count it in my head. So that would be right here, 40 frames. Uh, and now go into the effects tab right here and drag in an adjustment clip and make sure that starts uh, on the 40th frame before the kill and it ends on the kill. So just a little build up right here. And now you will need Magic Bullet Looks plugins for this uh, tutorial. So go in and type in looks and drag it in. And now edit look, make sure you use the orange build up. It will look really weird and you can change the color of it. So that's something I do like. Uh, just scroll and you see sh should see hue slash saturation and you can like kind of customize the color to whatever you want so uh i want kind of that color looks cool so i'm just going to use that color it kind of gives me like a thanos vibes and what you want to do now is fade in the adjustment clip just like so so just fade in a bit not too much and now what you want to do is go into the folder and drag in the best or drag in uh, the optical fair or optical flare very useful and unlink the clips and yeah, you should see like the optical flare up here and line it up with the adjustment clip and then trim it where the adjustment clip ends and now click on it and then go into transform scroll down a bit and composite mode right here make it add make the composite mode add now that you've done that what you're going to want to do is this part will be kind of confusing so uh so what you're going to want to do is actually disable the second video check where you put the plugins or where you put the or the build up and start by keyframing uh, the position X right here on the top right and position Y keyframe just that whole block right there and just move it around so basically it goes to wherever the character is so right there just adjust it to wherever like the opponent character is and like go do that by like every couple frames so this frame right here, I'm just going to move it more to where the character is and then move it a, a bit more and now drag it down a bit and yeah, just like that. So it, it will like kind of move with it, but uh, you will need to make a keyframe like every so often just so it does line up really good. So you can see it's already lined up really good, but as frames go by, it'll kind of just locate a bit. So you guys just want to make sure that lines up again and a bit like that and then this drag it down and yeah so just fiddle with the x and y settings and yeah it should turn out pretty good as you can see now it does pretty good for me and i'm just gonna fade in the optical flare uh, uh overlay and now for open effects uh search for s underscore hue sap bright you will need the sapphire plugins as well for this tutorial and put it onto the uh, overlay and now switch it to color of the buildup so i'm gonna enable the buildup again and 
Uh, I'm gonna change the hue shift to kind of the color of the build up. So that should look good. And I'm actually gonna change the color of the build up. So I'm going back into looks because the purple does look a bit weird now that I think of it. I'm just gonna make it orange like how it originally was. And make this orange as well. So orange like that. And now we do have a pretty cool build up. And we're not even close to done here. What we want to do now is drag in another adjustment clip that is just like the build up. Uh, yeah, just drag it in and put it over. And yeah, do this. And you should see this. And now uh, go into the adjustment clip and go to cropping right here. And now keyframe co crop top and crop bottom. After that, go 20 frames in front of the start. So there and then make crop top 100 and crop bottom 100 as well and then now go to the end and go 10 frames before the end one two three four five one two three four five keyframe uh them and then go to the end and make a zero just like this and yeah this should look pretty good and now I'm just going to add some pre-shakes and build-ups to add uh, just more effects uh, to this. So um, I'm just going to use my edit pack as an example. So this edit pack, you have to, do have to pay for it. I do recommend you get it for Dimitri Resolve. It's only $5 and it's amazing. So I'm just going to drag in. Uh, what you want to do is drag in a dark build-up first. So it kind of goes with the vibe of it a bit. So a, a build-up that kind of darkens the whole vibe. And then drag in uh, a side pre -sh my sh a pre shake, uh, and yeah, it should look pretty good. And yeah, it does look really good. And what you want to do for it to render faster is right click on each adjustment clip and click render cache color output on all of them. And yeah, just right click on render cache color output on all the adjustment clips. Don't you won't be able to do it on the actual overlay itself. And I'm actually gonna add an impact to, to finish off the video. So I'm gonna add uh, my God Orange Impact. And this one's really good. And yeah. And I'm gonna switch the side pre-shake because a lot on a lot uh, a lot of times the amplitude does go out of hand. So I'm gonna have to switch it a bit because for a lot of clips the effects look do look different. And yeah. For the last part right here, what you want to do is add your sound effects. So drag in the cool shotgun SFX, and it should be a video file. I don't know why it's like that, but unlink the clips and delete the video part. And now line the audio up with the kill. So yeah, it should be good. Delete this, fade it out. And now drag in the God build up SFX and find the peak of it. Right here is the peak of it, where it like peaks in audio, and find kind of where like the like couple, like ten frames before the build up ends. So one, two, ten frames, right there, and then just line that up with the peak of the build up. So like that, and then just fade this part in. This is really confusing, but uh, some of you guys will understand this. This is like one of the most important parts. And yeah, and after I did that, it did kind of uh, delete my shotgun SFX. So just drag it back in again, shotgun SFX, link clips, and then line up the shotgun shot with the that like just like that. Actually, I'm actually gonna make the make it peak at the end. If that makes sense. Of the marker, a couple frames, and yeah, it should be like this. And yeah, it'll take a while to render out, but once everything renders out, it will look really good. So it should look like this. Yeah, it will live a lot. So I'll see you guys once everything is rendered out. All right, guys, everything has rendered out, and this is kind of how it should look like. So go into full screen. And I'll play it back a couple more times. And one more final effect that you guys might want to add is on the song split on the on the like the 
<laughs> on where the beat drops and on the left side that you split just fade it out like this fade out a bit so kind of fades out the song on the builder and yeah it looks pretty good in my opinion i hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial it kind of took me a lot of like brain creep city to make so please make sure to drop a like subscribe to my channel all that good stuff and yeah i'll see you guys next time peace